Some people would bring someone they liked. I brought... Espen Hellam. Okay, something really special happening right now. I know where to find my mosque oxen. I mean, if you're watching this channel, you should know that by now. That's money right there, Espen. It's the end of August here in Norway and also of course then on Dovrefjell and uh, it feels a bit more like fall already. Some of the colors are already starting. It's pretty cold and it's raining a lot but you have to do the best out of it and today looks like the best day to go scouting and tomorrow maybe get some photos in rain. Uh, I got someone with me. Some people would have brought someone that they liked. Or that inspired them. Maybe a friend. Instead I brought... Espen Hellam. First two mosque oxen spotted, so I know where to find my mosque oxen. I mean, if you're watching this channel, you should know that by now. But to get a photo or any filming done, we still had to do the distance. Gladly for us, musk oxen that are grazing in peace do not move very quickly. I saw the musk oxen on the hill and we went further and suddenly there were even more. A group of like six, seven animals. They apparently belonged together so they joined after we took some photos. We walked of course like parallel to the group, like slowly coming closer but not like walking directly at them. The animals are always eating, the animals were still always moving so they didn't seem to be disturbed which is really good. And now this whole group is sleeping and even more animals turned up. So we had lunch and basically now we're waiting because there's a big guided group behind us. And I normally move to the side of another group if possible because in that way the animals don't get circled and the chance that they feel threatened diminishes. Always try to join up with others if you see them and don't expect to always get the shot you dreamed of. Enjoy your time. Be patient. Det är snö hetta så där allra där. Mm. Där bak. Mm. Nytt mer till sida. Okay, 
is something really special happening right now because you can partways hear it in the back of us like the group from the guide group. They are a bit excited and for a good reason because there's actually behind the Moskox and wild reindeer. And seeing wild reindeer here is for me the first time, not in Dovla in the national park itself, in Dovla National Park, but uh, here in this area. And it could be well be around a hundred animals. It's really hard to see them behind that snow. Because of the reindeer, we went out of the wind, kind of, because they wanted to cross right where we were sitting and having lunch, and where also these other groups were, and so we went a bit to the southeast to get out of their way, and hopefully that helped. Not sure if everyone left, um, can only hope, because uh, reindeer react also just to the smell of one person, even to no people at all if they just have to cross a hiking path for example. Since they have such a hard time it's better to just pack your gear and leave because that's just the best for the animals of course. And we tried to photograph a muskox net we found here on the side but he seemed like a loner. He kind of walked in our direction but with a young ox it doesn't feel good so we just turn around and we're leaving now and then we see what else we can do. Yeah, you might ask why are we on a campsite, but just to put this a bit into perspective. When I wanted to take the train here to uh, Dovre, uh, because of the extreme weather, rain and so on, they cancelled the train. Because the bridge was destroyed and they have to fix that and that takes time. Now today there is a message coming in that even the E6, the main road to Trondheim, is damaged now, avalanche of some sort, and so tomorrow there are no buses. It's raining quite a lot in between. The locations we go to, it's no problem to move around. If we really get wet tomorrow, I will appreciate a good shower, good warm shower, to warm up after the trip. And Saturday, yeah, we don't talk about Saturday yet. <laughs> To end an already spectacular day, we went to look after some moose. We were maybe a bit late or unlucky, but at least it was the first time for Aspen to see one. Did I mention he is Norwegian? Against all expectations, the weather is kind of dry. So far it seems to miss us, which is, I mean, Aspen seems to be happy about it. I mean, I'm kind of happy until we are with the animals, but I kind of was wishing for frozen raindrops. Let's see if we're so unhappy, uh, unlucky to even get rain. Uh, no, no, oh God, that doesn't make any sense anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I got my butt taped. That's gonna keep me dry. Pent patent pending. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing you have to know about musk oxen. They lay a lot on the ground. A lot. And if they just started to do so, you're in for a long wait.
And just when you think they woke up, they just switching sides. Bamboozled. Inspired by the musk oxen, we nearly fell asleep as well. Gladly, the biggest bull in the group woke up shortly after. And if the bull is awake, you can be sure that he doesn't let anyone else sleep on his watch during this time of the year. But while he's checking out the females and keeps younger males in check, we can see that there's a bigger male striving along the group, possibly looking for an opening or a fight. Sometimes it just happens that you don't get good photos, but that's when I'm often focusing on filming. And this is not all about money, but you can get great behavioral shots that can actually bring in cash in the long run. For example, this mother feeding her calf. That's money right there, I suppose. I know that sooner or later, I'll be able to license and sell this footage. The dominant bull seems to be very eager to hold his harem together. Some of the competition walks off without even a fight. The rain came down somewhere in Norway for sure. <laughs> Gladly not exactly where we are. Means we didn't really get the Moskos in rain photos, but today we got so much more. First of all, that we kind of could approach and they were really calm. And um, we took some time for that, always stopping, taking a break. So we could nearly spend the whole day with them now uh, in front of beautiful landscape. It feels nearly like we <laughs> kind of got all we could get. Also like a Moscow skull feeding. Uh, a bit of a fight, so some confrontation is going on there as well. That Moskox dominant male, he might be a bit frustrated because the females don't seem to be ready. Or at least they, maybe they don't just don't want him. <laughs> so all in all, this day definitely turned out so much better than I could have expected. What a fantastic tour to share with Aspen. Even though he really tries his best to mess with your footage. See you soon on the next one.